Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. Today's video is on 996 Turbo Shift Kit. The first step in implementing the shift kit is to disconnect the negative battery cable. I'll show you that in a minute. But what we're going to do right after that is remove this center console. And to do that, the first step is to let down the passenger seat. We've already done that, so let's go disconnect the battery now. It's very important to disconnect the battery, especially when doing jobs where you could activate an airbag. On some vehicles, not this one I don't think, but on some vehicles that this job might be performed on, you could activate the airbag. So it's very, very important, and I like to emphasize the fact that it's very important to disconnect the battery. Oh, and did I mention, please disconnect the battery before performing this, this task. To remove the center console, it's basically five screws and two clips on the emergency brake. So, I'll put you on a tripod and let's get started. So the first step in removing the center console is to pop out the e-brake cover. It's held in by two clips. I'll show you that now. Next, we remove the shift knob and the shift boot. Wow, just thought I'd show you guys how much play and wiggle there is in this now. You can even see the little fitting moving in the housing as well as on the shift lever. It's just not, everything's just wiggling. Not good. So the first screw we're going to remove is right here in the front. Torx. Whoa! Right there. Next, we're going to go underneath the ashtray here. Take this out. And there are two plastic screws in here. And when I say plastic, they are plastic. So be careful. Um, take those out. And I'll show you the rest as we get to them. There's some in the back, in the compartment here. T25. The Torx 25 screw right here. I'm gonna take this out and put it in my ashtray. Plastic screws. Take them out, put them in the ashtray as well. And they're T30. These two Torx screws, and there's a little fitting that they screw into that also just pulls out. T30. And then this whole piece just snaps out. And then you need to take these electrical connectors are loose because the center console will be coming out and towards the passenger seat. Take these will loose. <coughs> okay, there's one more screw in the storage compartment and you have to lift this little I'm going to use this little hook here. I don't know if this gets focus. And I'm going to pull up this uh, little cover. Like so. And you take this out. And down off in there, in the back, there's another I think it's a T20. That little guy. So I'll take that out. 
And then we should be able to remove the center console. All right, so this is the part where you kind of want to put yourself in take it easy mode so you don't mess up your center console, but I think it should come out unless I missed the screw. Did I miss anything? Oh, I did. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this little part comes out. Uh, I'm about to show you guys. All right, once you get that little screw out in the back, you can go in there with this pick thing again, and the entire floor comes up like this. Yay! And it reveals um, all the goodies down here. And there is two more screws or one more screw? I know there's one in this corner here, which you probably can't see because there's not enough light in here. And let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. No more screws. All right, so I'll get that screw and I'll let you watch me take that out. All right, so this will got the T20 as well. So I'll get that loose and then I will take it out with my magnet and we'll remove the center console. Ta-da! And we'll put that in here. And put all this stuff on the floor together so that when I need it, I know one location look for everything. On Floor. All right, so this should be ready to come out, and uh, I'll reposition you so you can see the hole taken out. All right, so I'm just gonna do it by feel, kind of lift, and see what gives and what doesn't. Okay, that was easy, and then we just kind of pull back. Pull this part back, and then as you sort of kind of work it, put this one up, and rotate it towards the passenger seat. Work it around like the shifter, and then up and out. Look at that! Ta-da! All right, and actually, I can even put this down here with the other stuff on the floor. And now we have access to our shifter. Yay! All right, so let's get on, let's get on with it.